Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB recording this intro very late at night and on Moxfield because I uh, ran out of time on the early access account. So I don't have the deck right here in front of you because we don't actually get access to the cards again until Tuesday. It is like we were given paradise and had it ripped away and sometimes that's more painful than never being there at all but here we are uh today's video is going to be simic infect and i think that this simic toxic venerated rot priest boggles e protect the queen kind of deck is actually one of the more dangerous decks coming out of the new set i was really surprised i did not expect it and as many of you who watched my last video know i was indeed poisoned by this thing so of course we had to try it later. So looking it over, I have 20 lands. I've got one Vesuvian Diplomacy, which says when you cast a spell that targets only a single creature you control, create a token that's a copy, uh, which is a really exciting way to go off with Venerated Rot, Rot Priest. And uh, we talked about the Rot Priest in a video I did on the second channel yesterday as one of the overperformers. Basically, the fact that they get the poison counter as soon as this becomes a target of something is incredibly dangerous. It's really hard to stop. If they don't counter the Rot Priest, responding to it with removal generally won't be good enough because they'll just protect it, bounce it, phase it out, use all these little tricks that are lurking in the deck. But what's really crazy about the deck is the fact that you can get so many copies either of the Rot Priest or of targets. So Ivy is great because every time you target the Rot Priest, you can copy it to Ivy and you get another poison counter. Then on top of that, you can do things like use March of Burgeoning Life targeting your Rot Priest, which then make, get, fetches another Rot Priest, but also gets a poison counter in the process. And as I mentioned, you can just go off with Vesuvian Diplomacy. When the deck doesn't draw Rot Priest, which is one of the more dangerous times, we play more of a fair Protect the Queen game with Storm Chaser, Drake, and Ivy. We have Combat Research to kind of bring back the mono blue tempo vibes of old and just kind of out card the opponent and get under them. So I think that this is a very legitimate and dangerous tempo deck for the upcoming standard. It does still have some work to be done. I also don't know if I love Bushwhack, but it is a card that can target one of your own to get those poison counters while also kind of being a land, as in turn one you can cast it just to go fetch another land. So I like it for now. You guys are going to enjoy the games. This is a serious overperformer and dangerous deck. So dive in. Let the nonsense begin. All right, do we keep it if it doesn't have our poison critter? I guess we keep it for the Drake, right? Okay, land is funky so far. Let's lead with the legendary. If they have removal while we're tapped out, we want it to hit the ivy. Then hopefully we draw land. Or a bushwhack or something. The Silex? Ew. Well, that just ruins everything. But we have a march, so I guess I'm going to play into it anyway. So it's like a ratchet bomb. Uh, once they get two counters on it, they can sacrifice it to destroy all two drops. It's a very scary thing. So we're going to need to leave mana up next turn. Because they can basically start start moving against us for no mana. That card is rude, but Fading Hope is good against it. Do I want to bounce my Ivy and Scry? Not really. Decline. Another land. Do we want that land? I think so. I've got a plan. Adaptive? Okay. And the Crusher, yep. Okay, enough land. I'm getting nervous. No reach, right? Okay. Gotta check for that reach. It's a green creature after all. Silex, you playing? 
Okay, you are. Never cast a spell that targets only a single creature. Really quick. Oh, they're putting an oil counter on it. They're not sacrificing it. They were trying to get me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is going to 10. They can tap it, remove 10 to deal 10 damage to any target. Ooh. Okay. That's something. This is oil too. Oh, that's a whole different way to do oil, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Ooh, 10 ball people. Ugh, okay. All right, let's let's go. Why not? One less to cast. One damage to each. Okay, well, we have to stop that. What else could they do, though? They, they could still play the safekeeping. Okay, we'll pay three. Actually, cancel. Hold on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> it's very difficult. Oh my goodness. I still think we might die. Because 10 damage is a lot. Um, so gruel oil aggro, guys. Holy crap. And we just drew way too many lands. Like, this is not fine. Come on, baby. Hold it together. Hold it together. Uh, Spinoderm doesn't trample though, right? It's just four more oil counters. Just infinite oil out here. Oh my goodness. Vigilance. And this is plus two plus two for Menace. And they still have enough to dome me? Seems bad. <laughs> Seems very, very bad. <clears throat> what do we need to draw? Another safekeeping? We're gonna get two of them. But yeah, we definitely need to draw some instants here to keep chaining. Copy. Copy. Would you like to deal 10 to the Drake? Maybe. I, they might be thinking about it since they are just potentially dead here. Something's happening. What's happening? Touch by the oil of Phyrexia. You killed Ivy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Do we do it now or do we do it next turn? I think we do it now. We're still at 20, right? Oh, it's, but it's so much better next turn. We just phase all them out and we win, right? This has hexproof, but it's not enough to kill me. Okay. Just need them not to draw another Silex. Fading Hope's pretty good. Off the top. Okay, it's... It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be fine. This is fine. <sighs> so... What's this do? Remove an oil counter from this, put an oil counter on another thing. Does this have oil counters right now? It doesn't. They moved them. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Um, no poison needed, but spooky game. Those oil counters might need to be brewed.
Oh, you know if we go up against Ollie, it's going to be a rumble. This hand is not great. We do need to draw another creature or the Ivy doesn't do much, but I'm still going to try it. We're on the play. Good things could happen. <gasps> Look who it is. It's, uh, it's our critter. Oh, it's time to get poisonous up in here. But do we play the Drake? I think we play the priest. Go ahead. Target me, dude. No. All right. All right, Ollie. All right. Push to the whack. Don't think that he's going to give me much to fight. Charge. The edict. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Fortunately, I have backup. Pretty good card against me though, isn't it? What you got now? If there's somebody who's probably immune to my shenanigans, it's Ollie. I'm sure he's going to run all kinds of sweepers and edicts and not a bunch of spot removal. You know, he's, he's not known for the doom blade. Two poison counters with a ways to go. Yeah. Mike punch. <laughs> yeah. Point. Uh, sure. Draw that. Why is it still resolving? Please stop resolving. I need to be able to respond here. Thank you. Good stuff. Good magic, the gathering. <laughs> Unstoppable poison for Ollie. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Oh, we are doing it. So does the safekeeping just double here? I'm going to feel really dumb if it doesn't. It does? All right. I'm trusting you. I am trusting you. That's messed up. I thought it did, but I had a minute of like, I'm not sure. But it does. And that's messed up. All right, last time I kept a hand with double Ivy, it worked out on the draw though. I'm very nervous, very, very nervous. To the skies. No block on the dog. We do need another creature really badly. Oh, come on. Let Ivy be Ivy. We'll just have to play another. Oh, wait. Now we've got this. Excellent. Let's see what you can do with all that mana. Brutal Cathar. Cathar. 
Gotta be careful now with uh, when we double spell and when we don't spell. Rock Priest is here. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. We flipping? Not yet. I prefer you don't flip. Maybe you don't. Okay, Banky. Awesome. That's what we need to see. Oh God. Oh. Ho, ho. Um. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I think we start here. I guess? Wait, how much poison is that? What What is this stack, for one thing? What the heck is this stack? So, one, two from the shore up, one from the go in for the throat, one, two from the march, and then one, two from the combat research. So that's seven? I think it's seven? Maybe I was supposed to march first and get down another Rot Priest and it could have been lethal. I'm not positive. Uh, I, I, we could have like exiled the Bushwhack, right? And played March on the Rot Priest and then played another Rot Priest and then done the things. But I did expect some kind of interaction, so I wanted my mana. But I still would have had two mana. And it probably would have drawn the interaction. Yeah, this is gross though. Like finding the perfect lines for this are going to be a nightmare and... Man, are they just dead. All right, we does not have green or this hand would be busted. We have green, but we don't have the Rot Priest. So this hand is very meh. We'll keep it. Um, I don't really want to march an Ivy though. So we'll put the march away like this and we'll go get blue. Could matter a lot because we have to take a lot of damage. I'll take green. Okay, you will have March and you will like it. I think that means we don't IV here. Yep. I got a Loam Speaker. We got combat research. That's one of the best things you can draw when you're on the all in on Ivy plan. A little bit of ward can go a long way. So what are you doing? You got all these colors. This is going to be another one of those decks. The domainy. I guess probably not domain based on these, but it's five color things. Shake down heavy. So it's another Phyrexian fighter. Yeah. Okay. Is what it is. I'll probably be letting them draw that off that shakedown heavy though. Because I can keep up with it. We've got a Drake. So I could play this Drake. I could combat research the Drake, then attack with the Ivy. If they have a cut down, it's heartbreaking. Let's see if there's stick here. No stick. All right. If we miss the land drop, this is also heartbreaking, but I'm hoping we draw a land in three draws. Uh, two draws. Beautiful. Now we need a blue card. A blue card. Okay. Easy. Magic is easy. I probably should have just held this land because I might have hit another Yavamaya Coast or a Cascade, and I could have held up safekeeping as well but never punished. When you are one with the cards, like the one in best of one, who is the one who is the one oneiest, you're never punished. I highly recommend it. It's really nice. Untap one creature, mill three cards. Okay. I have arrived. <laughs> Hold your applause. New Tyvar. 
Very good with elves, but not necessarily built around elves. Fight rigging. Wow. Okay. Okay, could be a problem. But not this turn. It's not a problem. Um, deck, why you feed me double portal? I think we're just going face. We gotta draw ways to get away from this fight rigging. We gotta draw like fading hope. Hello? That's a lot of land in a row. I'm not, I'm not loving it. Not loving it. Okay. Can't wait to see what their fight rig rigging gets them. Two-star creature with mana value less than X. Now we just have less IVs to draw, so that's nice. We have a legendary. We have a legendary, guys. Okay, we have to take the shields down if we're going to Otawara, the shakedown, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That also can cast Obliterators. They can also use this ability this turn because of uh, Tyvar's static, which is really cool. Let me guess, Phyrexian Obliterator. Maybe. Phyrexian Flesh Scourger, okay. They're going for it again, guys. I think we've got to try. Denied. But do they have a removal spell? They recast it. Which untaps Gwenna, because that is an awesome synergy. We draw another land. No. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, we go. There ain't nothing else we're going to do but go. Got to draw some good cards. Slip. Priest. They're at five. Means the priest probably isn't very good. But we could just try to pop off because everything is two poison counters, right? And everything I target with, I draw another card. So in theory, I could draw enough cards in a row to just do it, right? In theory. That said, they're all instants. If we can try to go for it on the opponent's turn, if that's what we want to do. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> With this on the stack, I'm probably going to try some nonsense. Ooh, they're gaining life. They're not trying to remove anything. Okay. Okay. I mean, they have a reach creature and 10 life now. Now the priest has to do it all. Priest has to go the distance. Do we think, guys, do we phase that Titan? Do we let him play another one? Let him have it? That can't be good. That can't be good. We're gonna try to combo win off the, the priest here. That That's the new plan. Okay, it's another heavy. Could have been way worse. Could have been way worse.
Now turn around and go back where you came from, Heavy. They're milling and they're getting something. It's in portal? Oh my god, they're a fight rigging portal deck? God, that would have been brutal. All right, guys. Do we use the slip here to draw? I guess because if we get a plus one, plus one counter, we can also slip the Titan and also phase the Ivy, which creates another poison counter. Then they have no blocker and we're attacking for eight, but they're at 13. We have to, yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. No more lands, please. We need no more land. We just need action. Okay. Okay. So bouncing the Titan here gets us seven damage and two cards. Wait a minute. So what if we bounce our own Drake and the Ivy? One, two, three, four. I think we bounce the Titan first and get the cards, right? Because one mana for two cards, but it's not one mana for two poison. This is lethal. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bounce here. No, no. So this is two poison, two poison. So that's up to eight. So we just need to draw one more spell. One more spell. See if they block wrong. Okay. This will get us one more card, right? spell one more spell guys draw mm. is it there is it there I think, did they start that with like one poison? Did they start that turn with one poison? <laughs> Infect gaming, let's go. We are on the play against Seth, better known as Saffron Olive, and we don't have green, so we have to mulligan. And we'll keep, and are we keeping I think we keep protection storm ivy and get rid of a uh, combat research, but it does hurt my soul. Um, wow. Guys, I don't know what to play first. <laughs> I'm, I, I, she, what? <laughs> what? All right, I'm doing this one. We're, we're going with ivy. Saffron olive does not run removal. You cannot do the greedy combo-y things that Saffron Olive does with removal in your deck. So he just, he, he won't run it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And I have a, please, 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 please deck land. Ah, uh, I was, okay, okay, I can't complain. I was hoping for blue. 
Forgot to ask. Forgot to ask correctly. What? No. You wouldn't. All right. Party, party spoiled. We'll just have to do this the hard way. Just going to do it like classic mono blue. Okay, what you what you targeting? Um <laughs> I'm not letting you off the hook, Seth. <laughs> You're not getting off the hook. It's going on the internet. Ward claims a new victim. <laughs> you know he doesn't... Dude, if you've watched Seth on Commander Class... If you've watched Saffron Olive on Commander Class, he does not pay the one. <laughs> Ever. At least he sticks to the brand. Yep. Cards. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we're getting to the point where I almost want to play this slip out the back. Almost. Could be a board wipe next turn and I'll regret it, but I think we do it. And he's done. <laughs> And we are back for a quick post game wrap. And I am curious to try this deck on ladder. I think it will be amazing against decks that run short on removal, specifically decks like soldiers. I think might have a really difficult time with this. Of course, Thalia can throw a wrench into those plans, but if this deck actually finds its land drops, it might even be able to get under and around a Thalia because they're just not going to be able to race some a great start from this kind of deck i don't think um and i think that decks like mono red actually get a little bit better against a deck like this because you need a really good draw you need to be able to play your rot priest early and protect it to give mono red any kind of a hard time so any kind of control deck any kind of mid-range deck uh, grixis is probably going to have a nightmare with this deck so i think this deck will have enough good matchups or at least decent matchups and best of one to be a real ladder player and i look forward to seeing how that goes now I'm going to do something I never thought I would do here on the show, but because somebody left a comment on the deck on Moxfield, I haven't looked at this. We're going to read this comment and see if this is the only comment ever read on my channel. Love the idea of this. Uh, this is from Isimon. Love the idea of this. Pulled a stained glass ivy in paper and building the commander deck, so playing on Arena seems really fun. I agree that this is the best ivy deck that has come along so far. So if you're a fan of that, this should be an automatic thing that you wish to try. As far as it being a budget deck, uh, the Rot Priest is a rare, a new rare, and ivy is a rare, something that, you know, going that deep on this is pr a pretty tough ask. And March of Burgeoning Life is a rare. And crafting four of these, I can't tell you you should do that yet. Maybe you're better off cutting these down to however many you happen to have opened and running more shore ups and slip out the backs instead. I'm also not convinced you need the, du the duplomancy. That was mostly for fun. So if you're doing budget stuff, you don't need the portals really. You don't need the duplomancy. I can't recommend the marches. Um, that, that's probably a waste of a wild card. And uh, hope you need probably do need at least three ivies. But take it from there, and I think you can make a really sweet deck. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. You are cool.